Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing our Mercury Retrograde reading for this upcoming Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde is a great time for reflection. It makes time feel slower so we have the time and space to process and reflect. So think back over the past four to six months what has happened mentally and emotionally over this period of time? And have you given yourself the time and space to process this? If not, what can you do now to help yourself to move forward so that you don't carry that energy with you any longer? Carrying any negative emotion on your heart for too long is what tends to harden those parts of you. You have to willingly choose to let it go, to not let it harden your heart. Now, in this message, we're going to look at something that's being avoided at this time, what's going to help you to transmute this energy, and what will come if this change is made. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that's resonating for you, then there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. One more thing, guys, if you enjoy the message, if you find that it's helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive right into Virgo's energy for this Mercury retrograde. And let's see what comes out for you in this reading. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. The Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the Strength. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, though, for those of you that are, but the strength card is really about shadow work, okay? It's, it's about accepting those deep, dark parts of ourselves that we might not share with other people, we might be ashamed of, um, and transmuting that, integrating the dark and the light. Taming the inner beast, if you will. One second, let me turn off my air conditioner for you guys. All right. So again, taming that inner beast, we see the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about a sacrifice that's needing to be made in order to put you in a more stable position. So we're going to see how this plays out into your reading for you, Virgo. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Justice energy. We have the Temperance, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I'm going to say this up front. I'm the messenger, just the messenger. I'm here to interpret the cards for your reading, so please don't take this personally. You've seen me shuffle. You've seen me do all the stuff. There's something here, Virgo, and this is like a deep, deep down thing. That's why the shadow work thing came up. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, okay? This is something that's from your past, from your childhood, a sense of abandonment, a sense of loss. Somebody had left you alone when you were younger, and that hinders your growth and also how you set boundaries right now in the present moment. 
and you have a decision to make. It's an easy decision. Um, it's just hard to start the process and to start moving forward. Um, but once you give yourself the space and shaming ourselves into healing is not going to do that, guys. Shaming ourselves because of something that we experienced or something that we endured in our past, it's not going to allow you the space that you need to heal. It's going to keep you stuck and bogged down in this sadness, in this darkness, okay? So let's just go through the motions. Let's just... um let's just talk about it. So the two of pentacles is like the decision, right? A decision that needs to be made. And I feel like this has to do with your healing process. Do I face this head on? Do I sit with myself? Maybe I need a person to help me through a counselor, maybe getting a, a tarot reading that's going to guide me through my healing process. There are some tarot therapists on YouTube. Um, I incorporate some of that into my readings, but definitely having the guidance and wherewithal to move forward. Let's clarify. Two of Pentacles for Virgo. You're the one that's keeping yourself here. The Magician, the Fool. And maybe you're not focusing on the pain. Maybe you're not intentionally focusing on the pain. However, when we stuff it down, when we avoid the healing process, it doesn't go away. It doesn't make that emotion, that feeling, that thought, that experience go away. It simply puts it in the back of our mind for us to ruminate and to be triggered through life until we face that. Until we can look at that experience and have the capacity to give ourselves the space to say, okay, that was an experience that happened to me. I don't live there anymore. And it's okay to move forward even if it's slowly This is something where somebody had left and so your feelings are valid you feeling afraid to want to invest in a relationship and maybe this is the opposite right maybe this is you are trying to please everybody around you in the fear that you'll be left again you know what I mean you're the one that is going to bring that awareness to the forefront. And like I always say, guys, awareness is the key. So once we are aware that this thought triggers us and holds us back from achieving our goals, achieving our dreams, achieving our desires, okay? This is definitely creating imbalance, uncertainty, and stagnancy in your life. But this can be fixed. It's going to take a little bit of patience and just the understanding and awareness when you're having a day, give yourself a day. It's okay to have a day, guys. One thing that's hard, especially if you live in America where I live, we're kind of forced to expect to be busy. And if we're not busy, then we're not productive. However, the resting part, the taking space, it's part of the process too. You need to take the space to be able to process the emotions of whatever you experienced in your past. And maybe finding a safe space to talk about what happened will help you to process those emotions. It doesn't always have to be a counselor or a therapist. Maybe this is finding a friend or a sibling, somebody who you can have a conversation about that experience with will help you to process those emotions. So right now you're running, your patience is running thin. 
the temperance, but this isn't a challenge position, so we read it in the reverse. Okay. When you give yourself that space with love to heal. And, and don't try to shame yourself. One thing, quick story. Story time really quick, guys. This morning I was driving to go get my coffee. I go every morning before I start the videos and all the social media stuff because I don't only do my own social media. I also manage other businesses' social media platforms. And so I was going to get my coffee to be able to sit down and to do all the work that I do in the morning. I was getting frustrated from this person in front of me who was driving slow. And then I became aware that I was having the thought of irritation and getting irritated by this. And then I started shaming myself. Like, Nina, you've been the slow person before. Why are you beating this person up for them being, maybe they don't know the area. Maybe they're looking for their turn. You never know what's going on, right? So just, just chill. And through that thought, like in the midst of that thought came another thought and was like, what if this is all practice? And then I had that aha moment, like, what if this is all practice? This is all practice. This is all just practice for the next phase in our life, for the next level, for the next thing. And when we're able to shift our perspective and look at things that way, this is all practice. It then allows us that space, that pause, for clarity, for communication, for patience. So don't beat yourself up over, don't shame yourself into healing because that's not going to work. Understand that you're going through a healing process and there's going to be days where you feel like everything is moving forward and it's perfect and it's flowing and how can this be? And then out of nowhere, you're going to have a day. It's okay to give yourself a day. Virgo, it's okay to give yourself a day to be, to just exist in life. And that was the moral of the story. Because it's all practice, right? My guides were right, as, as they are. Uh, this is all just practice for the next level. So the five of cups is that sadness. This is what you're accepting. That that sucked. That that situation sucked. That the people that had put you in that experience. Like I'm sure that you weren't just. It, it's almost like you were led into a situation. Or there were other people around you that influenced you to do something. Or had influence over you. And understand that even though you might have been able to say no, unless you were a child, right? You may feel like you could have had some control. Understand that you really couldn't. For one, it was on those other people that were with you to help, to guide you, to sway you. However, if you wouldn't have gone through that experience, you wouldn't be the person that you are today. And that's the negative, but it's also the positive as well. There are positive attributes that came out of this experience. And once you can sit with yourself in that awareness with that, that's when that clarity and that peace will come. Okay. And again, guys, setting boundaries isn't really about controlling other people. It's about setting our expectations. This is how much energy I'm willing to give to the situation. Seven of Wands energy. And through this healing process, that's the awareness. You'll come to this awareness that, oh, this is how much energy I'll be able to give before I'm triggered. This is how much energy I'm able to give to the situation before it depletes me. This is how much money I'm able to donate to this cause before it affects other things in my life. the awareness through this process is really the key guys so let's pull out 
whispers of healing to sum up your reading thank you guys again for all the love and the support oh 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 sorry you guys I was talking about it, but I didn't pull them out. It's the Seven of Cups and Justice that's clarifying the Seven of Wands. So that's that balance through the confusion, the uncertainty. Like, things are going to balance out. Things are going to get clearer through this process of you becoming more clear about yourself, being more aware of yourself. And the things that you've gone through have shaped you into the person that you are right now, today. Good, bad, and indifferent. Very interesting whispers of healing oracle message coming out for you. Virgo is triggers. So the oracle message that comes with this card, the occurrences or circumstances in your life may affect you on a deep level and be stored in your memory as wounds or triggers. Your ego can become defensive due to the emotional wounds you carry. Once a wrongdoing has happened in your life, it cannot be undone, but you choose how to handle the outcome. There is no single situation you cannot overcome. You can detach from the triggers, but you must have the will and desire to do so. Authentic healing means accepting past trauma, sadness, depression and disappointments from here you can choose to accept responsibility for your emotions and your triggers when you neutralize the story of your past they lose grip on your present holding on to pain limits your ability to live life to the fullest it is time to disconnect the switch and stop allowing a past situation to control your current actions. Beautiful Virgo to sum it up with this card. It's, it's pretty much what I was talking about through the whole reading. Summed up nicely in a little paragraph. You had an experience in your past and maybe you were led, maybe you had part responsibility in, but it's almost like this is hindering, it's stopping you from trusting, it's stopping you from having deeper connections and maybe even triggering you to react in certain ways that you're not okay with. But through the awareness that this is what's going on, you now can do the research, find the safe space, Use the tools that you have in your belt to help you to overcome these emotional traumas. Shadow work is something that you can do. They have shadow journals all over the internet. I'm sure you've seen them. They're big on TikTok right now, or they were. But you can do shadow work without having a shadow journal. You still need to journal, don't get me wrong. That's the safest way that you're going to be able to process those emotions. But shadow work is simply just becoming aware of those parts of yourself that you try to hide. Those parts of yourself that you try to avoid or maybe a little bit shameful that in the past or at some time in your experience, you did this, that or the other thing. But through the acceptance piece, like, okay, that is an experience that happened to me that's not who I am. Or that is something that I had experienced in my past. It's not going to happen again in the future. It then neutralizes that reaction. So, again, to bring it back, you have a decision to make. You can continue down the path the way that you are, and it's fine. You're still going to be moving forward in life, um, being triggered. But if you don't want to keep going through this anymore, simply just a little bit of awareness, and it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to happen overnight. But through that process, life will become more and more palpable for you, if you will. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. 
I hope the message was helpful for you, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey, friends. So I just wanted to come on and, again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey and don't be afraid to disconnect guys the purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction the channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because i feel like once you heal you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.